Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. This is Trigon. Of course, who else would it be on Trigon's channel, right? So, uh, before we start, I just want to say thank you again to those who are watching this. Um, I really appreciate it. This has actually been sort of uh, therapeutic for me, making these videos. I'm really enjoying doing it. And uh, I hope you're enjoying watching it. And if you do enjoy watching it, please smash that thumbs up button. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will do my best to keep making uh, interesting videos for you. So, we just finished defeating the dark spawn that were right here. And we we're about to go into this uh, dilapidated building, which is the warden's old place their abandoned fortress or whatever what have you and you know that chest doesn't look so good anymore well, let's check it out yes well well what have we here Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? What on earth? are you wearing <laughs> and if anyone here looks like a vulture lady you're the one with the feathers and the well i guess our sta staves look sort of similar anyways uh let's see uh, <laughs> okay i'm neither the gray wardens own this tower it is a tower no longer the wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. <laughs> Swooping is bad. One of my favorite of <laughs> favorite lines of this whole mentions. game. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. All right. I am Naria. Pleasure to meet you. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. Brilliant, Alistair. How does one Brilliant. steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those How can he seem Grey Warden property, so stupid with one line and so, it was not so really adept them. with the next one? Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. All right, then uh, who removed them? It was my mother, in fact. Of course. I, I suppose it would be wrong of me to ask her if she's still a peacekeeper. <laughs> if you haven't recognized the voice, that should be a good clue. Uh, your mother? Seriously? Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. It is not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. Hmm. 
before we go, just one thing. Why are you so interested in helping us? Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? Uh, well, it is a little dangerous here. All right, let's go. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dabbit. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your elven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? What difference does it make whether I'm an elf or a woman? Or, uh, oh, people just tick me off. And how did we go from one science fiction program to another one? All right, Captain Janeway. <clears throat> I'm not really too sure what to believe with you here. A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. <laughs> so much about you is uncertain. And yet I believe. Do I? Yes, you do. What? It seems I do. Oh, God. So this <laughs> is a dreaded witch of the wild. Oh, uh, Morgan's the mother, huh? man, I tell you. Morgan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> the word naked was implied come there. to listen to your wild tales, mother. <laughs> True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Hmm. Yes, I can imagine why someone living in the Kokori Wilds would be concerned about uh, the possibility of a Blight and might want to protect the... Uh documents of the Grey Wardens. Uh, I think we'll be polite and just thank her. Thank you, Captain Janeway. I mean, uh, Morgan's mother. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. <laughs> okay. Back we are. Ooh, and I got a level. Let's go ahead and level up before we go anywhere. Ooh, let's see. I think I'm going to put one in willpower and the rest in magic. And <clears throat> ooh, and we get more spells. Well, one more spell, yay. Let's see. So we have heal. We have the frosty thing. Oh, we got the rock armor last time. That's right. And I think that's actually helped us out a bit. What's this? Arcane Shield. Hmm. Why don't we stick with the defense aspect and get uh, Arcane Shield? Okay. Okay, before we go talk to Duncan, I want to give this guy his medicine for the dog. The Mabari stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. 
Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. <laughs> he looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. I don't know who the voice actor is who, who did this part, but I really like his voice. Uh, what will happen to him now? Let's give him a day or two to recover. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. You what? <laughs> Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... Or take another look. Smart as your average tax collector. <laughs> okay. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? We have. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Uh, maybe we should tell him about Morgan and uh, her mother. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Why don't you tell us what this is all about? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. Well, well, what will come will come. I've got no problem facing it. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn things? He was fine tests? with it a minute Have ago. Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Uh, calm down. There's nothing we can do about it now. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. You make a good point. You saw those Darkspawn tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. All right. Those who survive, eh? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward.
sorry I haven't. Yeah, me too. Step forward, Jory. But certainly rather have I have a wife, Sir Jory. A child. There is Had no I known turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. Sure, taking your chances, buddy. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. He went off to. Knowing him, I'm not sure I want to know. In any event, I vowed. What? <laughs> there was a slight error there. I've never seen that happen before. <clears throat> All right, it's over. I'm fine. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. All right. It's fine with me. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. And off they go. So, the sole survivor. Oh, they've already cleaned up the bodies and the blood. That was very efficient of them. Isn't this where I met, uh, Alistair? Except now there's a little altar and a table, and the chest that was over here is gone. Hmm. Oh, I got a level. All right. We have level goodness. Uh... Let's see, should we keep concentrating on magic, or should we branch out some? Oh, we didn't get any, what you call it, points. What did we get? I guess we got another spell. Huh, that's odd we didn't get ability points this time. So let's see, we could get, uh, we don't have a level for that. We can get flaming weapons, stone fist. I think we're going to go with the Stone Fist. Yeah, yes, let's rearrange things here a bit. Okay. Let's put the armor out here. I'm going to go ahead and back it. I'm going to put the heal on five, and let's going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to move the Stone Fist to three and put the flame on four, because... Man, the flame, uh, while it's really cool, it's no good when we're working in a group. So hopefully, we'll see how the armor helps us out. I mean, the, the defense, the defense spell. Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. 
Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. I'll do my best, Your Majesty. Uh, aside on that, uh, strikes me as a little odd. I can see why he's worried about, you know, the cute young elf who just joined the, the, the Wardens, but why Alistair? Hmm. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle of Mage... We will not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. As if he didn't look creepy enough to begin with, he gets the key creepy dialogue there, too. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is my He was there! How can he be surprised? If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll Sorry, need to cross the to... gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. Forgot to tell you what I was asking. All right, this sounds easy enough. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Can we join the battle Stay afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. All right, well, I know what I have to do then. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. I like Duncan. Good guy. Let's see. I need to save. There should be a quick save button, but I don't remember what it is. Is it F4? F5? It's F5. Okay. Alright. So now it's prep time for the battle. Actually, I want to come up here and get a peek if I can. See, some time has seriously passed. It's nighttime now. And everybody's out on the field of battle but us. Wow, I can't see anything. I can't tell what that is. The water over there? That's odd. Alright, alright, enough sightseeing. To the tower.
the, there aren't so many cutscenes and stuff later on, believe me. This this is the most tedious part when it comes to tons and tons of cutscenes. Because, of course, the whole story is still being set up. I have noticed that it seems like everybody here except me is wearing heavy armor. And the Mavari. The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. scene reminds me of Army of Darkness. the bridge and get to the tower of his shell all right well this is it for uh, this episode uh, we definitely picked a good spot to end it didn't we oh talk about your cliffhangers okay well if you like this video please smash that thumbs up button uh, and possibly if you want me to survive the next minute I don't know. <laughs> oh this does not look good all right Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, feel free to share this video if you like. Uh, I'd love to have more people watching it. And uh, as always, be sure to just have an absolutely great day. Thanks.